before I start, if you want to really take your business to the next level this year, definitely go to movingseminar.com and come spend three days with me uh, in March at Moving Sales Academy Live, all right? All the details are there. Just want to mention that before I get started. Comparison and distraction, okay? These two things can be an absolute killer for your momentum if you're not careful and you don't first uh, recognize them and you're not aware of them and how they could affect you and your business and just your overall sense of happiness, right? So, you know, when I talk about comparison, all right, it's important to realize that, you know, in this world of social media, in this world of, you know, interconnectedness of people where, you know, we now have an opportunity to, you know, hear more people's stories, right? As a moving company owner, you're able to, you know, kind of connect with other companies and hear their stories of, you know, what they're doing and what's working for them. And it's very easy to start comparing yourself to these other companies and what they're doing. And, and the reason that that's dangerous, there's a few reasons why. Number one is it's important that you have your mission of what you're working on and just because you hear that someone else is doing something that happens to be working for them, okay, assuming that it's true and that it really is working for them, but just because you hear something's working for someone else doesn't mean that you should allow it to distract you from what you're working on and what's important to you. And you have to listen to everything that is coming from me or from anyone else or from other companies that you hear or from you know some motivator on social media and you kind of have to take it with a grain of salt and say you know what that's good i like that idea let me put it in my someday maybe list of a project that i plan on working on while i continue to stay focused on my current goals priorities and objectives so if you're trying to accomplish what it is you're trying to accomplish and then you see someone else and they're doing something you're like, oh, wait, that's a great idea, too. I need to start doing that because you kind of have, you know, like FOMO, like fear of missing out. Like you're, you feel like, OK, they're going to be the first ones to do it. I have to do it, too. This will send you on a continual path of zig, zag, zig, zag that will take a lot longer to get where you're going if you end up getting where you're going. It's much easier to take the straight path, okay, than constantly zigzag and chase all these shiny objects. I want you to pick three things that you're going to work on over the next three months. Three big things that will be, you know, monumental to your business, that'll be a, a real game changer to your business. You know, too many times we're distracted with this whole big long to-do list of stuff and we just keep adding to it, but we never take the time to prioritize. You know, pick three things to focus on, right? Let me not compare myself to other people. Number one, because you also can't believe what everyone is saying, right? You know, everybody, you know, on, on a, in a social media world these days, you know, tends to, you know, it's unfortunate, but people tend to over-exaggerate or, or lie about things. And, you know, a lot of people don't even really know what's working for them. They'll say, this is, this is working for me, but yet they don't know the numbers behind it. So, you know, just, you know, be careful when you're comparing yourself and realize that everybody's at a different stage in their business. Everybody's on a different journey and everybody wants different things. Like, really, be true to you and be true to what you want and not compare yourself to other people and think that you should have what they want, all right? I would say that you should definitely have enough money to live the lifestyle you wanna live with enough security for yourself to be able to you know, weather any storm that may come along and you need to be able to enjoy your life, right? Beyond that, how far you wanna go is totally up to you. The next thing is distraction, right? We're living in such a distracted world, right? I know you hear this. I know you know this, but it's like we see people and they're, they're, you know, they're constantly just on their phone, glued into the, to the phone. The first thing they do in the morning is pick up the phone and, you know, they're dialed in like immediately, like checking the news, checking emails. And, you know, it's, it's causing problems in the workplace, period. I mean, you know, your employees are distracted. In other words, there's so much stuff flying at us that if we don't guard ourselves, right, and be very intentional about eliminating distraction, 
you're going to get totally sucked into that. And guess what happens, right? You've got to be militant, militant about guarding your focus time and eliminating distractions, right? It's so important. You know, people, you know, people, a lot of, you know, my clients, people that I, uh, you know, I meet at the seminars, they want to know how do you get so much done? And, and a big part of that, you know, I've come to realize is that I don't worry about what anyone else is doing, right? I don't look at, you know, competition or someone that's, and, and worry about what they have going on. I worry about what I need to do, right? Stay aware of what's happening, but you don't have to be in the know of every little thing, Right. You don't have to feel like you're going to miss out on something. If you've got a good plan for your business and for your life, stick to that. Keep it simple. Work on those three things that are going to matter, right? And guard your focus, all right? So pick yourself three big objectives for the next three months, three big things that if you do them will totally shift your business and change it around, all right? Set you on a totally new course, find out, you know, sit down and think about, okay, throughout the day, where do I get distracted? How can I eliminate those distractions? What things can I put in place to help myself eliminate those distractions? And then go out there and crush it for the next few months, all right? And make sure you come see me at Moving Sales Academy Live. There's going to be hundreds of moving companies there, like-minded companies that are like at a point where like, I'm ready to go to that next level. There's going to be people just starting out, and there's people there that are in the, you know, let me make sure I'm saying this right. Definitely in eight figures. Okay. So, you know, you've got, you know, some amazing people that you're going to be around. You're going to be able to network with. And the best part about it is it's three days of focus on one thing, right? Taking your business to the next level. So make sure you go to movingseminar.com. I hope this was helpful. Go out there every single day, profit in your business, thrive in your life. I'll see you guys later.